confess faithfully now God's praise we sing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you almighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor the Father, Lord have, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in every recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The hand of the Lord has struck with power. God's right hand is exalted. I shall not die, but live anew, declaring the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, at the Last Supper table in John's Gospel, Jesus promised his companions at table, I am going away and I will come back to you. On the third day, Easter day, Jesus kept his promise and returned to these close friends. These varied appearances of the risen Jesus were reunions with his followers and friends, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. In these appearances to his disciple companions, the risen Jesus brought forgiveness. Jesus gave them encouragement that he loved them generously and completely. Jesus sent them on a mission to announce the gospel of Jesus Christ. Friends, we have inherited our Easter faith in the risen Jesus from these witnesses of long ago. The proclamation, Jesus Christ is risen, has been passed along by many people throughout the centuries to give direction and meaning to our lives. Easter faith in the risen Jesus provides the foundation for our hope that we will share in the heavenly glory of the risen Jesus. for the prayers of the faithful. <laughs> With confidence and trust, we now bring our prayers before God. For our whole church, in our ongoing efforts to be faith-filled, rejoicing people, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For all those whose faith has been shaken by life's circumstances or doubt their capacity to believe, in faith and hope we pray to the Lord. For those who fear that doubt is unforgivable or who have never experienced God's great mercy, in faith and hope we pray to the Lord. For the gift of recognizing the presence of God in our midst, even in times of fear and great worry, in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us this past week, Jeanette Melanson, Philip Lawton, Tracy Hickey, Monica Strong, and for all those we remember on our church and virtual prayer wall, and for those we remember in a special way at this Mass, Jacqueline Finucan. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For the sick, that they have God's grace and also in gratitude for the many caregivers and workers who help all of us. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. 
for all of us to give witness each day that we believe all human life is graced and a gift for everyone. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For all of those who are searching in life, that they hear the voice of our Lord calling them to his holy service. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For those who keep us safe, we pray for our first responders, emergency personnel, military, and all healthcare workers. In faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we entrust these prayers and petitions to your wise and loving plan of providence for us. We are confident today because we unite our prayers to the prayers of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Heaven, and speak them in the name of her Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior, forever and ever. Kindly stand. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings and oblations of your people that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, but above all on this day to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and the heavenly powers also with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts,
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Jacqueline, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the bread needed long to give. said, I am the way, and my Father longs for you, so I come to bring you home, to be one with him anew. I receive the living God, and my heart is full. said, I am the truth. If you follow close to me, you will know me in your heart, and my word shall make you free. I receive the living God, and my is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the life, far from whom no thing can grow, but receive living bread, and my spirit you shall know. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.